Oh. Okay, no big intro today. Um, I only got like an hour of sunlight left. But somebody commented on one of my videos saying that I should try one of these jigs like this. So I'm gonna give it a shot and uh, see how it works. It looks appetizing. I, I would, you know, I really am a huge fan of the crocodiles. And I know these cast a lot further, which I like. It's kind of of a similar look to a crocodile, so I don't see any reason why it wouldn't work. There we go. There's something. Okay, so this is not a thornback. This is an actual stingray. So we gotta be careful with this one. Yeah, this is a stingray. You see his little barb. Okay, I'm gonna try to avoid getting the barb in me. Nope, you just stay put. Oh, he got me. Fuck. Damn it. Damn it, damn it, damn it. Okay, that's gonna be bad. This hurts. I'm gonna call poison control, see if I actually need to go to the doctor. Uh, does not feel good, I can tell you that much. All right, well, poison control said there's nothing I can really do. They said, I could go put it in some hot water to try to push the poison out, but whatever. Keep fishing. What do we got? Can't tell what this thing is. Actually. Halibut. Nice. All right. Well, that is the first one on this jig. Nice little one. So thank you. Shout out to whoever it was that told me I ought to try it because it definitely works. Let this little guy go. See if there's a bigger one. Man, that little guy had some shoulders when he hit. Thought that thing would have been a lot bigger than that. Oh shit. Okay, that's a good fish. tell what this is. like a leopard, some sort of shark. It's actually maybe a shovel nose? It's hard 
can tell from here. Yeah, I think it's a shovel nose. Pretty good size uh, shovel nose shark here. You can see for a ratio next to my foot. Okay, let's, let's get Come on. Nice. So that's the best fight I've had in a little while down here at the beach. Good size shovel nose shark. I'm gonna toss this guy back real quick. That's the first shovel nose I've caught on a lure. Um, seems kind of tricky for them to hit a lure. Little mouths, they have them on the bottom, but pretty sweet, that was super fun. Let me go throw this guy back real quick. Dang it. Oh, that's something. There's something that feels pretty good. What is this? I think it's a shark of some kind. Leopard shark, it looks like. It's like shark and ray day. Wow, it has been a really long time since I've caught one of these. Such a long time. Wow, I haven't caught one of these since I was like a kid. Well, it's good that you guys are back. I think these are called dog sharks, sand sharks. I think they have a few names. Um, but Kind of the same body as a leopard shark, really similar. Dog shark, I'm pretty sure it's called. Pretty cool. Yeah, definitely have not seen one of these in a long, long time. Go free, buddy. Make more little guys like yourself. Well, pretty cool day. Actually, not getting barbed by the round stingray. That was, that was not cool. But other than that, pretty cool. Got that shovel nose. That thing was pretty big, the guitar fish, and uh, put up a pretty good fight. And I saw one of those dog sharks, which I haven't seen in forever. I can't remember the last time I caught one of those things. So it's cool to see one of those things back. That's always good. Um, and then, yeah, a little halibut, too, in the mix. But uh, shout out to the guy that told me to try these kinds of jigs. I think they're called diamond jigs. I'll look it up, but good tip. I'm definitely gonna be using these more. I suggest anybody else out there, give them a shot too. See you on the next one.